Today we're going to go for a little walk with a dog in Bristol. To the transmitter site which is on top of one of the areas of Bristol. It's always a hassle when you've got the dog but it's not helped by the fact that when you leave the dog in the car that uh, she decides to go and bury and well dig underneath your drone which you've got sitting there charging and she manages to get that out of the way and eat the chocolate which was stashed underneath and if any of you happen to know chocolate is not very good for dogs <laughs> so she is ingesting as we speak and could possibly become quite ill from eating chocolate luckily milk chocolate not dark chocolate but um, dogs are not supposed to eat chocolate this is not good. Hmm. Oi! Stop pulling me. See, and this is why it's really, really quite impossible to try and do anything regarding filming when you've got Doggy around because Doggy will do things like yank you when you're trying to touch the camera and Doggy will do things like try to chase other doggies which becomes impossible then because you can't film it so and you've got to fight with one hand on your steady cam and one hand trying to stop doggy fighting with other doggies but anyway we digress all part of the exploring fun now this is a new fence this never used to be here but surprisingly friends of mine used to actually squat living in a caravan inside this compound and they managed to live there for about a year and a half until the council finally evicted them but uh, uh, there was there were big fences which were wire fences around here then and funnily enough my friends being there seemed to spook most of the locals who didn't like to go up there because of the weird people that were living in the bunkers and that was my mate yeah, quite harmless enough but they used to play music up there late at night and I've got no idea what the hell this is so why would that be there that's really bizarre it's like uh, a water trough for no animals but you can see a little bit of uh, some of the concrete there we'll go inside now and have a look but, um, yeah we've got uh, some interesting interesting features up here but it's the highest spot in Bristol basically which is why the transmitter is up here so strategically this is a very important place and if you're looking to protect Bristol from enemy bombers and whatnot coming through then being up here and having uh, bunkers and emplacement for guns which is what I imagine I'm not sure but See, now I have to turn around like this. Sorry about that, because dog has wrapped me up in lead. So we'll have to get used to that, I'm afraid, because dog decides to run around me and wrap me up in the lead. And I've only got one hand free, so I have to spin around. So, yes, sorry about that, but I thought it would be nice to bring the dog out for a little walk. So, yeah, so there we are, Stoke Park. We are in Stoke Park. And this is Purdown Percy restoration work. Um, that's talking about the yellow building, which um, I've done some drone flying on, so I'll show you that in a bit. But yeah, this has now been turned into a, 
a little walkway so you can actually walk through here with your dog or by yourself and you can see Bristol all along the outskirts there you can see Bristol and yeah so we're basically gonna go and have a little walk and we're gonna have a dog fight in a minute because my dog is going to see that there's a little dog there so let's go and have a walk over here first come on go this way let's try and avoid dog fights if we can my dog is a little demon her name is Angel but uh, yeah that doesn't always quite work out so here we are we've got some emplacements here or bunkers blast shelters even and you can see in the middle there's these little uh, little sort of uh, screw downs so it might have been that there were antennas here in the past could have been antennas but um, something big was uh, screwed in here may have been a gun I don't know could have been an antenna but you've got a lot of these and uh, some of them are still are still um, what's the word I'm looking for still fenced off that's the word I'm looking for so all over the place yeah yeah my dog just uh, had a go at some other dogs so yeah and breathe let's put some good graffiti in here quality graffiti up here. As you can see all, all of these things still in the same kind of vein. So there are also, oh we can see on the floor, see on the floor you've got these metal pins again. So something in the middle. It's almost like as if these were magazines for a gun that might have been here. So the gun was in the middle and all the magazines around the edge. So, yeah, interesting. Let's go and have a look now. There would have been a, a gate on each one of these. <sighs> yep. You can kind of see why I don't, uh, I don't take the dog with me on these explores very much because everything becomes three times as long and you just end up getting tangled continuously. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good fun. There we are, so we're in another one now. And we can see around. There's another one. Come and have a look. There's some kids going to check out the bunkers. And I think there's just one more, one more over here. Oops. This one's, this one's not very good, unfortunately. Yeah. This one's not very good with dogs. Oh, Come on. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, you. Oh, this, this, one's, this one's not very good, sorry. <laughs> I'll just keep her. Do you want to walk past? Sorry. So we'll go around the, the back of this. Uh, let's have a look at some of the bits over here. There's, um, there's an unusual structure here because this one goes downhill and seems to sort of curve into a... curve into a bigger bunker which is along here now this one's actually quite tall so you've got uh, you've got walls blast wall on the right hand side and then sheds and bunker space on on this side so there's one two two three, four, five, so and then there's a little, a little back area which goes round blast wall around the back as well. So these all look like they were probably, uh, probably to do with munition storage 
and uh, yeah, yep, getting uh, pulled out by brambles there. It's all good. Great thing about a steady cam is you wouldn't really know just how crappy the situation is with the filming. There's another one here, so you see it's, uh, it's uh, it goes downhill round a corner and goes into what appears to be another underground space, so I would imagine that would be pretty much the same. So it's got one curve going in this side and another curve going in this side. You can see the Space there. So let's have a little look in, see if we can see it. Come in then. Coming in. Coming in. Oops, slip. So this is an interesting one. As you can see the same sort of stuff, but we'll we'll look at it from up here. So you've got the the wall which is a blast wall and you've got the bunker which is four or five rooms with another blast wall around the back and a sloped sloped walkway in from that side and a sloped walkway in from that side so I think the slopes in some respects are to try and stop blast waves because they tend to travel in straight lines, blast waves, so if you have a blast it might not go around the corner so much, so I think that's what the, the idea is behind it. And then this entranceway to the, to the park is pretty much where the entranceway to the GPO BT Tower is, which I believe has a nuclear protected bunker underneath it. So this stuff you see on the surface is not all that's here. There's a big bunker underneath this and it's been here for a very long time and it's considered one of the country's most strategic, important uh, sites. So, for tower, microwave signals, military mould repeaters, so very important. And of course there you've got Bristol, Bristol all out in, let me just turn this down, so you've got Bristol all out that, in that direction and we're at the highest point so we can see right over into Wiltshire and uh, if we could turn this way we've got uh, like Western Supermare and West Wales and we've got Mid Wales in this direction Mid Wales oh stop pulling me yeah and and lots of interesting times like that when the dog decides to wrap me up in the wire again yeah you can generally get about half a, an explanation of one of these videos out before the dog does something interesting. <laughs> you can generally get like about halfway through it before you get pulled or yanked or tied up. Yep, it's good. So you really can't concentrate. That's generally why if I'm gonna do these sorts of things, I bring somebody else as the dog walker because it becomes much easier. Anyway, enough of my moaning. As you can see, she's a little deer, absolutely. There's not, there's not an ounce of nastiness or, or snarliness towards other dogs or anything in this one. She's, she's an absolute dream. Come on. Yeah, angel by name, angel by nature. For now, for now. <laughs> So these are quite a quite a popular visited place. I mean, you can see there's a chap over there now, and a little walk around the little parts of the bunker. So you know they used to keep this area locked off, but uh, now they've turned it into a uh, come and have a look. So it just goes to show how things change. So there we are. Let's have a look at this. Uh, this is the first the first bunker area we came to, or second in. But there's another one up here. Oh, let's go have a little look. Come on in. So 
There's another one here, but these are a bit more smashed down. See more pins, more pins, but these ones have got like uh, eye beams in them. So there's different different ones for different things, I think. And these these are different uh, different little containers. They're not like the first lot. They seem to have doorways going into the sides of them, so it's something different. And uh, all of these pins going around here. So quite interesting. Well, let's go and uh, get back to the car and we're on to our next destination which needs coverage. So we'll uh, say goodbye from Bristol. So, here we go. Off we go again. Back up to the main bit and see if we can get in some of the other, other sections. Right. have a little look up here. Yeah, there's um, fences have been pulled down so we can get in some of these still, which is good news. But um, looks a bit, uh, bit crappy that way, so let's go this way. Come on. So here you go. Some of the little emplacements. And you've got uh, the fences have been pulled down. I don't see why they really need, feel the need to to fence these off anyway, considering that they're not exactly dangerous in any way. But uh, let's have a little look. So we've got uh, got these bunkers here. Come on then. About four or five of these little emplacements. Now, funnily enough, my friends, when they were staying here in the caravans, uh, they were able to put their sound system. Come here. They were able to put their sound system inside these little concrete things, and it seemed to reflect the sound up and away. So it meant that there was uh, a lot less noise going towards the the locals, which was good. Now this actually looks like a proper uh, proper bunker which you can actually go in and actually still has underground bits to it. So let's see if we can get in. Door is open and we've got little gun emplacement windows. You can see inside Inside, let's go and have a look. So we've got um, walkways through. And we've got little uh, little windows in. So you can see, quite small, but nonetheless. Let's see if we can, oops, get in. Come on up. Ah, here we go. This is the walkway in. Come on in then. Come on. Let's actually take the walkway down. Come on in. Proper bunker. Smells a little bit, but uh, this is the this is the extent of these little bunkers up on the top of the hill. So, come on then. It really does smell in here. I won't say what of, but yeah. Come on then. Come on, doggy. Right, now there's a few more bits over here, let's have a quick look. So it's just above ground stuff, as far as I'm aware. Let's go back out through the, uh, the way we came in. Come on then. And there's a little, uh, little blast shelter there. We 
can see directly in front of us. This is the first one we came into. This is the second. Let's have a quick look around. So we've got uh, blast shelters of some description. Going over there. Some good graffiti up here. Some slightly higher quality graffiti. They just go around and around. Now these would have had little doors on them as you can see. The doors have all been taken off so I don't know what the doors were for. But maybe the doors were for storing ammunition or something. So each one of these had a door on that side and a door on the other side. So the doors both sides. But as you can see all the doors have been taken off. And they've got these strange little, I suppose, octagonal octagonal shapes. They're very small, I mean they're below below height, you know, so you can see me, you can see me here. It comes up to about here. But they actually had um, foam. You can see these little foam foam things on them, so they're protected from blast in uh, a number of ways. And you can see the foam is sort of attached here, both sides. And yeah, somebody's left their coat. So, uh, there we go, so that's another one, and we've got more of the same, so, and you've got the telecom tower up there, which used to be bristling with microwave dishes, and uh, that's what these little, these little sort of things on the edges are, the metal parts, and as you can see, all the metal dishes have gone now, so there's Bristol down there, 